Hi, I'm Perry from Mesa Digital Marketing and today I'm going to show you how to add the smooth scrolling effect to your bridge theme WordPress website. And this can be applied to the navigation top menu or it can be applied to a button. We'll show you both cases. And I actually already have it set up so I'm just going to demo what that looks like. Testimonials wasn't here originally but now you can click on it and see how it does a smooth scroll effect all the way down to testimonials. You go back to the top of the page. And then shop collection, let's just say you want to go down to your featured items on this page. There it is. Okay, so the first thing you want to do to implement this is go in the back end of your site and then find the appearance section and go to menus. And once you're in menus, add a custom link. So that custom link's here. If you don't see custom link, usually that's there by default, but screen options at the top, um, find the custom link, check and check it and it will show up. Um, once you have your custom link inputted, it will look obviously like this, but blank. And copy the link of the place where you'll have them scroll to. So in our example, it's at the bottom of the home page. So this is literally the home page of our site, our test site. And then the important part here is to include in the anchor text uh, section what you want it to scroll to. So at the end, it's going to be tutorialsmdm.wpengine.com forward slash hashtag or the pound sign and then testimonials. So anyways, after that's done, you just save the, your new menu and then go into the page that you're going to be on. So this is, uh, that's not the right page. This, so we want to go to the page for us. It's going to be the home page. So here's our home page and we scroll down to the section that we want the smooth scroll effect to land on. So on the home page at the bottom, testimonials, the outer row has the pencil. If you click on the pencil, you're editing the row settings, scroll down to the uh, place where it says anchor. I think I might have passed it. There it is. Anchor ID. So this puts an ID um, in the code for it to find and scroll down to. So once that's done, save your changes. Um, actually, one other tip that you want to have in there or else if you don't do this next part, then it'll kind of scroll past it or your top navigation header will appear over top of your, your options. You want to hit design options and put in about 60 pixels of padding. I think 30 might work as well, but about 60 is what I found to be good. And then save your changes or push update to the page. And then um, you can go back to the page and test it. Again, we hit testimonials, does a screw, smooth scroll effect to testimonials. So we got a little bit of extra padding there if you want to get rid of it or if you like that. Okay, the next part is that button. And this is a button in the code slider section. Um, most places for bridge, built-in bridge theme options have uh, like the button also has a place where you can put anchor text. So just like we did for the menus, for the custom link, you said, I want the anchor text here, and then you went into the page and assigned it. We're going to do a similar idea. So here's the slide. It's called Stylish and Minimalism. So go into, if you're going to do this for code slider, go into the code slider, find the slide that has the button you want to adjust, and then scroll down until you get to the button section. Let's see if I can find it. Say so there's buttons, okay? And then there's a place for a link. So for the link, just put the hashtag featured. So a hashtag or whatever your anchor text is gonna be. In this case, we use the word featured. And then after that's been applied, go into the back end of your home page or whatever page you're on. And we wanted it to scroll, smooth scroll to this digital creativity unleashed. So we click the pencil, same idea, find where it says row ID. Now put in featured without the hashtag and make sure your design idea, you have some kind of padding going on there. We're just gonna use the default was 94, so. And then save it, and you're done. Now when you, um, when a user clicks on the code slider button, it'll do a smooth scroll to wherever you need to be. So this is super important for all one page bridge theme websites. Um, it's not set up by default, even though it says one page, you have to know how to do that. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Something that I've, I'm super happy that I found out and use all the time. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.